it's okay to get messy for a season. Sure. But you have to make sure that season doesn't become your life. Yes. It takes all of a sudden this wake up moment to go, whoa, this is Mm -hmm. a little farther off path than I want to be. Hey, it's Deb and this is Happy Hour Deb. And today, holy smokes. My two favorite badasses in the entire world are with me. My dear friends, Carrie Robinson and Brittany Hall. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having us. We're so excited to be here. You don't even know. I was like driving down here. I'm like, yes, my girls, my girls. I know. I'm like, what are we talking about? I don't know. (laughs) What are we we talking about? Well, (laughs) and this has been a long time even getting it, getting the three of us together to do this. It's been a long time getting the three of us together to have a glass of wine. (laughs) It's impossible. These it damn is. kids. <laughs> damn jobs. No. Damn kids. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. Is it the kids no. or is it the fact that you guys are just rock stars and badasses? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just probably priorities. I mean, it's like I say damn kids, but it's like, well, it's because my kids are the most important thing to me. Right. And I'm like, they're not going on the back burner mm-hmm. for me to. You know, All right, let me tell the things. listeners and the viewers how I know you guys. So I met Carrie because she worked for somebody I knew she was had a crazy high position in sales Brittany is her best friend and also worked for the company and let me tell you guys I have never seen two more dynamic hard-working beast killers Aww. in my life and I'll let me just back it up because we're going to talk about two wonderful mothers incredible wives amazing friends mm-hmm I'm like, yes, that's all true. <laughs> right. Deb's going to buy us dinner. This is super paying. It's pangers. all true. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> tell us what it's like to be a, a woman, a wife, a mother, an entrepreneur. Oh, do you want to go first? I know. I'm like, I'm going to throw it over to Carrie. Oh, um, <laughs> course, gosh, yes, you know, I feel like since the time I had kids, I like to be busy. That's right. how I'm wired. I've always been an entrepreneur. So I've always... It's never for me personally, and it's how I'm wired, never this or that. I'm like, oh, I can I can do all of it. I do can it handle all. it. Yeah, I'm like, throw another iron in the fire, you know. But I do think that um, in probably in my 20s, it was much more of a rat race. And then as I grown and matured, it's like, you know what, I need to have boundaries with things. So I think that's been a huge thing, just kind of learning. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. to do that. Yeah, handle it all. Because, yeah. you know somebody throws something in. Carrie, what do you think? Because like when somebody throws a ball in the air. Yeah. And it's so interesting that you brought up your 20s because in my 20s, I was like, I got to go to the nine to five. This is what I need to do. I've always been in a network marketing role, but my thought was always, I'm going to go to a job. I'm going to retire, but it just didn't work out that way. And I'm so thankful. (laughs) Right. We're all thankful. I'm thankful. Yeah. So thankful. But I think what you'll find with Brittany and I is that we're both super driven Mm -hmm. and we both have our priorities straight. Like, hey, our family comes first. Right. And I remember distinctly when I held my oldest in my arms for the first time, I thought nothing is going to come oh. before my family, you yeah. know? And I think when you keep that in mind and that you know that you have those priorities straight and you're driven, you can get a lot of stuff done. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what yeah. they say, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because they'll get it get done. done. They do. Yeah. They totally do. Yeah. How about the balance of like both of your jobs required you essentially to be on call? 24 7 and (laughs) you're just one text away from like let's go and Mm -hmm. when you're raising kids and you know Kara's from Florida and Brittany is from right here in the great state of Texas um that's hard Mm -hmm. you know how do you you know you got homework and soccer I swear I've I've talked to you more on your way to soccer when you're giving a Chick-fil-a order Carrie than any human (laughs) being on the face of this earth it's like hold on I got hold on Deb (laughs) yeah Needs a milkshake. We need and a milkshake. an eight pace and a diet coke. No. <laughs> exactly. So how how does that? You know, I get, I have the pleasure of knowing both your husbands, mm-hmm. and your families are beautiful. And I think it's just like I look at you guys like, oh my God, how do they do it? I barely could get in the parking spot today. <laughs> I think for me. And it hasn't always been this way. But I know when I was building my network marketing business and my husband was really the breadwinner, I was building this business from home, but he didn't take it very seriously. And I think that phase in our life is where we really learned how to work together and divide and conquer. And he started to, he had to kind of learn like, oh, okay, like I can take the kids. She's doing this thing. Like we really had to learn our dance as far as like me being in the game also. And so then I think when we um, were working at the most recent company with me really being busy and he was busy too, but I think that instead of it becoming like this thing between us. Right. That's was, beautiful because most com- mm-hmm. most couples just struggle. Yeah. And we were like, or okay, well, why time? I'm more important than you are. Yeah. And it was very much this balance of, okay, 
all these things, we can lay them all out on the table. They have to get done. It doesn't matter who does them. Our kids need to get here. I need to do this. Okay, I'm busy now. Now I'm not. You know, it was just like it needs to get done. So let's divide and conquer. And so we learned that dance. But we had to learn it like seven years ago when I was building my business, (laughs) you know, and he was just like, why are you still on the phone? And I'm like, I just brought on a new client. And then when the paycheck started coming and he started taking it more seriously. Well, that is completely understandable because, you know, we've all owned our own companies. We're all entrepreneurs and, Mm -hmm. and you, you're on go time all the time Mm -hmm. because you're essentially chasing the next lead or chasing the next paycheck. And, you know, a lot. I mean, I love your husband so much. I know it's so hard to like, mm-hmm. most marriages don't thrive in that situation and kids don't thrive. And you guys are the exception to the rule. Yeah. And I, I think honestly too, like our dance is a little different, my husband and mine, because my mm-hmm. husband travels all the time yes. too. So we have this added component. And as I was building my network marketing, we were in the same industry. Yeah. We've kind of followed each other. I know. We stick you together. Know, we do stick together. <laughs> um, I think it's beautiful that you guys are best friends. I'm like, this is, when I see your pictures together on Facebook, it literally makes my heart happy. Because I know you guys were just meant to be, you guys were just meant to be besties. Mm-hmm. Like, I just think that's so awesome. Yeah. yeah and it, but what I was building mine, the thing that spoke to my husband been the most was the paychecks coming in and mm-hmm. he's like oh there is something to this right how can we work together to bread's now ten dollars a loaf we're gonna oh. get another paycheck in there yes exactly mm-hmm. and then as we've moved into this other role this other role of the company we just um we were at before um it became even a bigger balancing act because mm-hmm. Jason was traveling across country once a month. I was traveling a lot. It created a lot of demand on us as a family um, to hold it all together. And it was really sitting down with our kids too and saying, this is yeah. what we're doing. This is why we're doing it, engaging them a little bit and then realizing when we needed help. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Realizing <laughs> those things that really didn't matter that yeah. could be taken off our right. plates and knowing what the important time for us is like for my son Hunter he is a competitive soccer player the drive home from soccer is about a 30 minute drive to and from that drive home it's important that I'm 100 percent present right and so that's beautiful that's his mm-hmm. quality time with me and sometimes he'll even go can we just drive around some more I'm not Aww. ready to go home Aww, yeah. because <laughs> he knew it was our time yeah and so that's I think the other thing to realize too is understand what your family's needs are and then the things that aren't as important, maybe let those go. Yeah, I think, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, especially, you don't know what to back burner Mm -hmm. and what, because everything seems like an alarm is going off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you take husbands to travel and children that are small and schools and uh, Brittany, we I was cracking up at you at the end end of school year. Oh my god! I'm like, do you want to have lunch? She's like, I can have lunch in 14 days, 36 hours. And uh, like, <laughs> I'm like, who runs the school that decides we need to have 14 days of dress up days for the last two weeks? I know. Like, what are we doing? Who's right. in charge? And stay at home moms. And I can tell you who plans that. Stay at home moms. And you know, what, I was even a classroom stuff. mom this year. I just want to put that it. out there. Bravo, I was, oh bravo! Gosh. I love that. So, I ran far and fast. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some show and they're like, she never comes to school things I'm like that's you, mm-hmm. you carry I know. So well, tell me. apparently there was a snack list for baseball and I didn't even know. Well, it, and see, so. what's so funny is if people, like if we said, which one of us do you think that would be? They would think that totally you were the class caring. mom and you were the snack person, but really it's like right. me. That's yeah. so funny. People do that to us all the time though. Yeah. 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 yeah it's that's true. Funny. So when you were doing your other job and you guys were just traveling and, and not in cities that you lived in and, and it was like a 24 seven operation, you're with your kids and you're getting texts on Saturday nights and pivot and do this. How bad does that get? (laughs) Well, it's funny. I would always tell people I do not plan things far in advance. Mm -hmm. Like I don't. And I would always the night before I would look at my calendar for the next day and make sure I knew what the game plan was for the next day. My family would be briefed on it. We all know the game plan. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's like we're like like a little operation. Seriously. The president's walking in. Yeah. I'm like, does everybody know what they're doing tomorrow? Because I do think that with kids, You can't give them too much at a time, but if they know that, hey, this is our plan, this is who's going to be with you, this is your schedule, this is, you know, whatever, lunch, all these things, and I'm going to be home at this time, then they're like, okay, I feel safe, I feel secure, Mm -hmm. I'm informed, I know who I'm going to be with, like, this feels good. So I would just operate, like, in 24 hours of advance, like, with my kids. Um, And then same, like, it's like, you know, those type of situations, like, I didn't love being on the road. I loved the people I got to meet, you know, but, like, Staying in a hotel and eating food that's not home cooked. Like that gets old, like sleeping in a bed, having to get up. And I've been traveling my whole life. Yeah. And people think it's, oh, it's so glamorous. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is not glamorous. 
And um, yeah, but I think it goes back to that support Mm -hmm. is, you know, like my husband's on board. We talk, we communicate, my kids know what's up. And we're like, okay, we just got to get through this week. But that's also honestly not a great way to live where it's like, just get through it, just get through it. Yes. Which is why, you know, it's been nice to have kind of a shift. Yeah, in the last couple that's because it is. It's yeah. so true. And especially when you're, you know, you're in a sales position and it's coming down to money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and things are happening and you got to pivot and it, it's affecting mm-hmm. how you're eating. Yeah. yeah. It well, affects everything. My health massively actually yeah. declined. Mm-hmm. Like mine did. Yeah. It was like I gained weight. I was having migraines. Like I physically mm. wasn't feeling good. It was like really crazy. So I think one time I had a mentor actually in our network marketing business that told us it's okay to get messy for a season. Sure. But you have to make sure that season doesn't become your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so that's really too. I was like, this cannot be our life. Like, and it was, I mean, I'm so grateful for the opportunity, really. Right. Like I learned a ton. I made great money. But it was like I was going to lose myself, my health, like time with my kids. You if can't I kept put a price going. tag on your sanity. No. Well, and I think the thing is, too, is that we didn't realize that I think as driven people, we're like we're chasing the next thing or meeting the next person. And it's exciting and it's new and there's a lot of adrenaline behind it yeah. that it takes all of a sudden this wake up moment to go, whoa. This is mm-hmm. a little farther off path than I want to be. Yeah, right. you broke your foot. I, <laughs> right. It was two so, years ago. I feel like that. <laughs> it was so interesting. Like there were these little God signs to me, like two weeks prior to leaving, that I was like, oh, oh, that was God just saying, it's time for a break. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's time for a pivot. You're not listening. Great, let's break your foot. Yeah, yeah. right. Now you literally <laughs> have hold that you down for we'll six weeks. Slow you down. Right. Yeah. Right. And it did. It was finally, it took something to open my eyes and say, wait, we have gotten so far off path mm-hmm. from where we really, truly wow. wanted to be. But I don't look at that as necessarily a negative thing. No I look way. At it as like, we live oh, and we learn every a, day. Yeah, this is an experience and we need to shift now. Absolutely. Yeah. What's it feel like to have that moment like, I just can't do this anymore? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what was funny? Um, Matthew, go get us some shots. To <laughs> How real are we getting? We're going to need, we're going to need, we don't even need shot glasses. Just bring the bottle right here and stick it on the table. You know, it's funny because I think when um, things happen in my life, it's like I think of them um, as like a picture or something. It's not necessarily like an emotion. I think the emotion would probably be like relief, mm-hmm. yeah. clarity, alignment. But when I left the last position that I was in, um, I told, I sent the email and I like my resignation email. And I told my husband, I said, the picture that's playing in my mind is I am getting out of the passenger seat of a car and I'm getting in the driver's seat. Wow. And I'm like, oh, I, I love that. Yeah. I was like, I, I am that. now back in the driver's seat of my life because I feel like I was just a passenger in this vehicle that I, I mean, it was crazy. Like just emotional swings. I'd be so frustrated and so attached to things going a certain way. And yeah, it was, and you, it was a you lot. You just ultimately cannot thrive in that kind of chaos. No. Well, and you it, certainly can't be the best mother in that kind of chaos. No. And no. when you ask about how does it feel to feel like you had to be on all the time, that describes it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. It's and for me it was like initially relief and then fear and then guilt. I felt a right. lot of guilt. I felt oh. bad for the people that we were leaving. Did you? Cause like bad? Carrie was yeah. still at the company and I was, she's like, Oh yeah, you did. Carrie was so, I go, Carrie, I just feel like I'm like leaving you and I don't want to leave you guys in a bad spot because I had like a pretty big role, you know, and yeah, what I was yeah, doing, we all role. did. Yeah. And, um, she told me, she goes, don't you dare hold you. And I was like, this is like, when you know you have such a great friend is when they're like, she's like, don't you dare not do something because you think I'm not going to be okay. Right. And she's like, it's that time for beautiful. you to go. You got to go. Yeah. And it was really crazy. We don't realize how much stuff back to the kids that the kids see, because uh, I remember my kids they see were everything. Like, they were like, oh, because I remember one Sunday night something happened and I was like, just I got so upset and I got up and I left. And I went to my room and I was crying and my kids were like what's going on? Like my, they were just like, my mom's upset. Like mm-hmm. something's happening. And my kids were like, are you not going to cry anymore? Uh, yeah. And it's like, how unhealthy is that? So, like, it's wild. My so unhealthy. My oldest, when we told him, um, he came down and he gave me a big hug and he goes, I have missed you. We're going to uh, have my mom back. And uh, about two hours later, he came back. Wait, are you going to be up in my business all the time? <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, oh, baby. I thought about it after the emotion. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you looking at my phone and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> yeah, like you're going to be just well, here every day. And that's right. been a really interesting role. You're not getting on a plane, cheap plane somewhere? <laughs> yeah. You're going to actually not be attached to your phone? What's that like? Yeah. Um, 
But that's been an interesting adjustment for both my kids as well. Like we've seen them, their emotions go up and down. And as I've tightened the boundaries back to where we like, they haven't liked it. And they fought back quite a bit because Mm -hmm. it's been over a year of yeah, had a little bit more freedom. Well, those were the <laughs> yeah. original boundaries. You just had to shift them for the chaos. Mm-hmm. 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 What's well, it like it's survival? To, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. That's it. Like we you just go gotta... into pure survival mm-hmm. mode. That yeah. you know you've got to get it done, and there's only so many hours in a day, and you're the only mom, and and that's. And I remember having, um, like, the only way I can describe it is a ball in my stomach all the time mm-hmm. like like the other shoe is going to drop. What have I missed? What have I forgotten? Do I have both my kids? Did yeah. I not do this? Second like, guessing you're your just whole so life. Mentally it's, cluttered almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have always been really big into personal development and growth and studying and gratitude and journaling. And I, I, I told Brittany one day, I was like, I can't even. Like, there's no mental space for any of that. No, I was like, I, because it's so funny because when we were building our network marketing companies, you know, and that was something that I built completely on Facebook, Mm -hmm. generating all my own leads, built a business to 3,000 clients, over 100, you know, coaches on our team, like a really great business. And that was all done. You really got to be creative and you got to be driven. Absolutely. And then you can't miss a beat. No. No. Because if you miss a beat, you miss a week. No, and I built that for six solid years. And so going from that where you're like developing, you're driven, you have these goals, you're doing all these things, you're daily like active on social media to I don't even know what to post. Yeah. Yeah. When like that was like my genius in that business mm-hmm. is I was so great yeah. at coming up with content. And then I was like, I don't even know anymore. I remember people would reach out to me and go, are you still there? Because we haven't seen you on Facebook for so long. Yeah. Are you alive? There was nothing. <laughs> like I'm like, my yeah. brain is literally feels blank. <laughs> well, at yeah. some point, every human being, there's a tap out point, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. We can only take so much before we yeah. break. Well, and it's like the boiling of the frog, too. It's like mm-hmm. you don't even realize. And I don't want to make anything seem like, oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. it was such a horrible situation because like I was totally responsible for being in the role that I was in and the life and energy that I gave to it because I think too whenever I take something I want to go all in and I want it to be great um, and I want to be a person of excellence in that role but then when you step back from it you can really see the whole picture of like oh wow I let that get really unhealthy for myself it was like nobody was doing that to me Mm -hmm. it was all my decision yeah it was all out of like my drive and like Mm -hmm. wanting to be like number one in sales and do this and show these results and all this stuff. And then you go back and you're like, God, what did I give up? Like I lost myself in that race. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. And we were talking about that this weekend, how we, how our personality can fall into that role. Oh yeah. And I really believe um, from our network marketing to this last career we were in, it was a lesson for us Mm -hmm. to say, no, we need to have those strict boundaries with ourselves and it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. It's good. It's yeah. not mm-hmm. just okay. It's yeah. mandatory. And we'll probably yeah. perform better. Yeah, when absolutely. We have that time. Yeah, like yeah. when you were saying that you were constantly, you were constantly living in fight or flight. Mm-hmm. Like, what's going to happen next? Mm-hmm. Waiting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me what it's like. I know you guys were the best at customer relations. Like you, lo- I mean. Good God, Carrie, the first time I talked to you, I'm like, I think I just met my best friend for the rest of my life. I know. I was like, Carrie's really good at customer relations. I just, I love people. I love people. Yeah. What's it like to have built a team of people that, you know, and then all of a sudden they're gone? Hmm. Hmm. I, do you want me to go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I think, well, in our last, do you mean in this last role that we yeah. were in? Oh, yeah. I was trying to figure out if network marketing. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Well, we were going. yeah, because like I built a big team in network marketing mm-hmm. and that was interesting when you step back and then, you know, that's just a whole nother story. But um, be a whole nother podcast. Yeah, yeah, that could be a whole podcast. Girls, really we're here and t- we, we're at seven uh, days until Carrie leaves. <laughs> <laughs> shoot every afternoon. Totally I'll be back fine. tomorrow. <laughs> this week's on network marketing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that's a real thing, like burnout in that Truth. field. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's a whole thing. Absolutely. But um, I think in this last one, like we built a really great team. And so then I mm-hmm. think that when you have built a team, you almost have this obligation. Like yeah. I'm someone who has to really watch it how because I will act out of obligation a lot and like sacrifice myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I was so thankful for Carrie being like, Mm-mm. like, right. nope, you need to do what's best for your family. Absolutely. 100%. And, then, and I think people get that. You yes. know, like me as somebody who was, you know, worked with you guys, 
it's a human aspect. You have yeah. to do what's best for yourself and your family and your finances and your mental health. Yeah. Well, and anybody that would tell you that you need to put business or money in front of that is really just not a good person. Right. Yeah. Amen. Like they actually don't care about people. They don't say that. Right. So and, and you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. It's just like wild. Um, but uh, where was I going to go with that? Do you want me to jump in? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I remember. I feel like this is the best day of my life, Matthew. <laughs> 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 so Brittany and I have worked together for so long. So we had, when when I came in, she brought me in, her and Ryan brought me in. Yeah. Um, we already had a, a cadence, a, a speed rhythm, of trust. A yeah, speed of we, trust. Did you did. we had done a ton of events together. We just knew how we worked well together. And we also knew that money would never, ever, ever trump our friendship. No. That's so um, that made it really easy to move forward through um, as a team, yeah, right, yeah. Um, and what's really cool is that our strengths really complement each other. Oh, so that one yeah. from the outside looking in, one hundred percent. Yeah, but what I remember is we had done an event. You'll remember this. And I thought after the event, I thought back and I was like, oh, that felt really um, competitive. Oh, between the sales, sales people. people. Yeah. And I was thinking about something, and I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Friends. Oh, of okay. Course. okay. Everybody <laughs> knows Friends. <laughs> a good cry, a good bottle of Chardonnay, some right. gummy bears, and Friends. Yeah, how you exactly. get over everything. In exactly. Life. And I don't know if you guys knew how they would negotiate their salaries. They'd come in as a group and negotiate. It was all or none, right? Oh. That's like we're all going to be at the same. No one's going to be paid more than somebody else because mm -hmm. we're a group and right. we make the show work. And I remember calling Brittany. I was like, "This is insane. This is how we need to approach." events right as a group as a team to bring us together so it didn't seem so sharky mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and I think that well, that's was essentially turning you guys on each other <laughs> well <laughs> like because that's... a lot of times what? at events like I wouldn't be because <laughs> I very good. Carrie loves to be with the people right she's fairly good at it I don't yeah like I'm I like to be like hey good to see you like right, I love right. that like I'm right. social it's not that I don't like people but I like to be running the back end of stuff right. and making sure that everything's on time that's what made you guys both a dynamic team. yeah and I'm great at being like you need to go here you do this like I'm great at bossing people around you know or directing them <laughs> I think Ryan said that when I was coming in <laughs> <laughs> but um so but what was hard about that is that if you're only um uh, compensated by selling from an event, then the person who's doing operational duties isn't compensated for right. their time. And Carrie recognized that and she's like, that's not right. So um, I do agree. That's right. Because yeah. all of you collectively are the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it should be divided up. Probably and God should be just the for life. Yeah. You know? And mm -hmm. what she was doing allowed me to do what I did so well. Right. Yeah. Right. And because I'm not great at that. I can do it. It's fine, right? Right. Mm -hmm. She's her mind works more in that method. Right. It's like natural for me. Yeah, it's very natural. Um, yeah. So, well, we all have our talents. You know, we're yeah. all good at the things that we're good at. But mm -hmm. what was so amazing when I met both of you is that it was just this sense of we've got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we've got you, mm -hmm. and there never will be a question unanswered. There'll never will be a you know time where you don't know. I mean, Carrie will tell you like ten minutes before damn zooms. I'm like Carrie, and I'll zoom like. Yeah. Because I'm like, a mess, you know? right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm great to work well, with. It's but like, I'm where's that email? Yeah. Where, right. the, where was yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I needed to start an automated one to you, Deb. I know, right. <laughs> right. I know. She's like, go to the, your, I don't know. Where's your <laughs> dashboard, Deb? Where's right. your go dashboard? to the dashboard. That's right. That's right. We I put know. a lot of work into that, Deb. I, know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I honestly don't think I'm on the dashboard right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what what's the reaction you got from your your clients that you know that were like you know what's the you know what it's kind of a big role when you, you I mean you played a big role in my mm -hmm. growth in my because you both know my company is you know on the newer side mm -hmm. and you played a both of you played a huge role in how I grew it so quickly and the transformation and where I was going and yeah. Terry's like, just do it, Debbie. Shut up and do it. <laughs> well, we had a lot of strategy sessions. We around did. It, we you did. Had some you concepts. were my you were my go-to girl. Yeah. Yeah. You had some yeah. concepts you just needed to talk through more than anything and need validation. Like, yeah, this is the direction I need to move. Right. Like right. um 
and you just needed someone to listen. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. She had it. She had right. it all. Well, you, sometimes you just need somebody to process with. Yeah, and, absolutely. And validate, like, okay, so this is a good idea. I'm on right. the right track. Yeah. Especially because yeah. this is a brand new company. So I was like, oh, my God. It's scary. You're like, is what this What am I, I doing? Think? I'm mm-hmm. not 29 anymore. Like, mm-hmm. And yeah. it was. You do, you know, because you want to compete the level you used to compete at. So, you know, you just want to make sure you're doing it. So. Yeah. And look, What's, now you're doing 30 podcasts in a week. I know, I know. Right? <laughs> look With at country you, music stars, too. I'm like, oh, my God. This is what I believe, and I have told you this before. I'm only as good as the people around me, mm. and that's the people on the show. Yeah. That's Bradley and Trevor, and I'm, I'm only as good as the people around me. So that's what makes this a success. Well, you well, know, I think, actually, and I've seen this so many times in different, like, entrepreneurs' journeys, is sometimes they think they have to be great because they're great, but it's like, no, 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 no. If you can show up and do what you do really well, you don't have to be great at all the other things. That's right. where your team comes that's in. That's where a team comes and in. And I see so many leaders quote unquote leaders or people who own companies that they have these egos attached to it and they're like no no no, I can do all that it's like you don't have to do all that like right. nobody thinks less of you if you're not a genius at everything right mm-hmm. but that's where you really create a team that is empowered to do what they're great yeah at. yeah and I think that's what we're really good at is making sure that people are on the right seat on the bus yeah. right. you know and that you have this great dynamic team around you and then you allow people to operate in their genius mm-hmm. which is you know basically what you're saying is yeah. like I put great people around me I do what I do they yeah. do what they do and it's a beautiful thing well they say if and you make works. everything a priority you make nothing a priority yeah and I then had, it's a mess. It's, it's a freaking mess. mess. But I think the key for that to happen is ego has to go away. Yeah. 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 And I think that's probably where people get in trouble. Yeah. I, I've seen it at so many different companies. Yeah. Like, that's not like throwing shade at any one person no. or anything. It's like, I've seen it at so many I think things. we all they see have, it in in yeah. every aspect, you yeah. know? Yeah. Or there's a yeah. stress that they have to do it all. It's like what I was talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. You realize what you don't need to do and can right. let go. That isn't a priority and have somebody else come do it for you. Well, yeah. even like on a granular level as a woman. Right. I think like a lot of pressure gets put on us right. to be like great at everything. Wear all the hats and I'm a great mom and I'm a great wife and I'm a great right. house cleaner. And, and I remember and the snacks for the yeah, last 14 days snacks. of dressing. Am I allowed to <laughs> say that? Am I allowed to say you that? You know, what, honestly, this is what. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's gonna be absolutely. Big beep no, there's that. not. You're allowed to say that. Like Brittany Hall was in the studio. Okay. <laughs> Hayden but will call you out on who that. Who thinks it's a miracle that I've made it this oh 34 gosh. minutes without cursing? Well, yeah. I kept thinking, can I? Yeah, no, you can. Oh my gosh. It's like, you know, you're not regulated on podcasts, you can do, but I mean, I agree. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. we can only do so much. And, uh, you know, I prided myself on the fact that, like, I, I never, you know me, if I, I don't, like, I only take what I have to. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I, I cannot be the best at everything if I've got everybody else's. I tell people this, yeah. clients and patients, whatever, mm-hmm. stop picking up other people's shit. Yeah. No, and that your shit's yours. dropping. Yeah, it's like this Pinterest mom. It's like I think it's like really moms, definitely our age, and then probably the next generation. That it's like this Pinterest, Instagram bullshit. Right. And I'm always like, what, what? And then Wait, you know, my you life interact. with my first marriage was like that. There was oh. I don't know, there was Instagram, but like that's what it was. Big house, doctor, oh, yeah. birthday party. Right. Oh my god. Right. Yeah. Everyone's like, we want to be them. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, you don't want to be us. Be we them. are fucked up. You're like, if you only knew what was going on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Did you and hear I, the yelling? Right. <laughs> we didn't. We were so fucked up. We didn't even talk. That's how fucked up we were. But yeah. like from the outside looking in, and you guys probably experienced a lot of this yourselves. From the mm-hmm. outside looking in, it's like wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Keep it all I together. Like, I want to be like them. I oh. make it a point to like, and it's funny because I act like, oh god, I'm a hot mess, and I'm like, I really actually do have my shit together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I'm not trying to keep up any like perfection like right. any of that but I try to like <laughs> extend that authenticity to other women like mm-hmm. girl you don't need to have it together right. like nobody's judging you who and gets the Joneses shit. are so yesterday they're so wanna be yesterday. Mrs. Jim. well and I think that's what people want now is authenticity uh, absolutely yeah. you know like yeah. if I drop this ball it will be okay right like, yeah I'm like will oh be okay. there but was a school is... event today whoopsie right I forgot my kid at school right. they called again <laughs> right. I think that in the beginning like twice a year I think like in September and December they should ask each parent for like 300 bucks yeah, be like, oh, this I is covering totally. the tissues, the, the oh, cupcakes, God. the oh, don't get me started. T-shirts, the oh. <laughs> the sending the form. Like, oh my gosh! And then, God. um, it's teacher appreciation. Oh, and we want to do a Christmas present. Oh, and it's their half birthday. <laughs> and I'm like, good goodness! Like, are they <laughs> yeah. not making a salary? I'm wait, probably gonna get in so much. Wait, you know what? I, I get too. something. I need something. Yeah. How <laughs> about my kid didn't um didn't do anything bad and they came to school smelling good? Right. And like they ate breakfast. It is true like, too. where's my flowers? 
Right. I know. And I used to think that too. I'm like, you bitches had off on the weekend. Yeah. I don't get the summer off. Right. I didn't. What do you mean you were done at five o'clock? People are going to be like, losers. she's anti teacher. I love teachers. Yes. I'm I just love saying, who, the moms who are creating this, they're like, they're a little overboard. Yeah. Yes. It really yes. is. I, well, I would I mean, Venmo them happily. I, I would right. Venmo totally them. Totally. I'll just them. sign and a blank check. The, just go. Yes. Just get it, girl. Have fun. And this is the deal. If that's your skill set and you love doing that stuff, Awesome. Amen. God bless awesome. those women. Yes. Tell me how much money you need. Yeah. Right. You love you love to cut the cucumbers into little hearts, hearts? in the lunch. Right. Cool. Good That's for great. you, girl. Right. Like, Agreed. Like Agreed. I only pack my son a sandwich because he won't he'll eat everything but the sandwich. And I'm like, you brought home that sandwich again today? Great. Going you're back only to school. you're only <laughs> getting a sandwich. Do you give him the sandwich from a couple days ago or do you make a new sandwich? <sighs> I guess well, it's depending, it's right? Because let me tell you, prices or if are, it's tuna, that stuff's going in the right. Garbage. And look, <laughs> prices are high, man. I don't, I don't have to recycle that I don't sandwich. Know, yeah, I and Hayden, like somehow a Ziploc bag would get over, and the tuna would be all. And no, it's like, what's happening? Oh, what like, happened just, at school today? Can we just have hot lunch, please? <laughs> yeah, and then he's buying everybody ice cream. I'm like, who serves ice cream in the cafeteria? Is that a real thing? Like, let's go back to 1995, where the lunch ladies were right. mean, and right. you got like bad chicken nuggets. You know, I think yes. it's okay to be afraid and of the so lunch bad. ladies. It keeps people's asses in line. Oh man. My lunch lady, she ha she was a big lady, and she would point, and then her arm would go, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> <laughs> and she was scary. And I was like, oh no, I mean, don't let I her yell I'll at you. Have the, I'll have the chicken nuggets. <laughs> I don't remember mine. There must have been some trauma there. I, oh, oh, I, swear I to totally. God. I mean, it was she like the, that the carpeted out. gym with the lady, uh, and I was like, oh. oh. I just remember sauerkraut day, and oh. you could oh gosh, smell it two buildings over. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Is all the lettuce fermented, and they just had to get rid uh. of it? Like, what was What's <laughs> happening at this cabin? Uh, whatever it is. They're like budget cuts. No. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Eat <Excellent>. it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. You're like, I'll just pay for the whole damn room to have the cabbage if you just get the smell to go. Oh, <laughs> you're Lord. right. Right. Yeah. And that's hard. And that's playing into like, now what you're doing. Let's talk about your new roles. Oh, I've been here through the transition. Yeah. And, uh, you, know, we, you know, I was asking you guys how it, what it feels like to leave these people that you've had these relationships yeah, hard. with. Yeah. I you know? well, it's funny too because Carrie and I, like, you know, we talked about our personalities are a little bit different where I really love like running a business. So I think that I well, I think that like clients and stuff when I left were like, huh. But they weren't like attached to me. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and people that I did have contact with, they were like, You want a job? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right, exactly. What are you doing now? Like you are a killer, man. Right. Like, what are you doing? She was. I said that when you I'm yeah. like, she's a beast, man. She's crazy losing her. Yeah. Um, well, and then the caveat was me and my husband both worked there. Right. And so, you know, it was like we both went. Right. Um, where he was really like the guy getting shit done behind the scenes too. Right. So it was like people didn't know him as well, but they knew that we were like a pretty powerful combination. Right. Um, but then I think people were like, Well, Brittany and Carrie are really good friends, so it's only a matter of time Carrie's like I have my own mind I know and that <laughs> Brittany was doesn't control Carrie that was the funny <laughs> thing about it too is like we had that conversation and we're like this could be a really great fit for me absolutely um, just personality -wise. I said that to yes, you, you when I yeah me. and I'm like to set the record straight please um <laughs> yes. I told Carrie I go you know what Carrie I go <laughs> PSA <"Mate>? yeah <laughs> Yeah, for real. Right. Um, I was like very encouraging to mm -hmm. you. And I and she mm -hmm. goes, no, because I was like, wait, did I like, was I good? Did I say things? And Carrie's like, no, you told me this might be a really great fit for mm -hmm. you in that position. Now that I'm out of there, like maybe you'll be able to like, mm -hmm. you know, do some other stuff. And it's a really great role. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so that, that was, just sh that just bleeds. And like, if you know the two of you, you know that there is nothing that's mm -hmm. that you're not getting each other's backs. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. no dollar amount that's well, gonna break like, you guys up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And even if I'm like, eh, like some things were annoying to me or whatever, I would never be like, Carrie, you need to do this mm -hmm. because I'm scorned. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like because yeah. I'm no, like, ganging you need to do up what's on. best for you. Yeah. Because I'm like, we're adults, so we can make our own choices. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Absolutely. But yeah. I think the assumption was that I would just leave and that was never my intent. Yeah, like it was a group help. effort. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't my yeah. assumption. I called you bawling my eyes out. I'm like, please don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I saw and my it, old company crumble oh, before my eyes. I, oh, well. Yeah, so it wasn't my intent to leave until God's like, um, this is happening. This is happening. Let's break your foot. Yeah, yeah I know. Works. Um, but uh, for me, it was 
I, I had a lot of phone calls, a lot of people calling me. Yeah. They'd go, is everything okay? Do I? No, actually, the first question would be, is this phone call recorded? Right. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Is this your personal line? And do quite you honestly, work for did the you CIA? know if it was recorded or not? I was calling from my cell phone, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, who and, knows? I've <laughs> seen <laughs> crazier shit go on. Oh, my I'm gosh. Like, well, I don't think it's tapped. <laughs> Lord, yeah. I hope not. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Just I don't think kidding. that's happening. Right. No, it's not happening. <laughs> but it was, there was concern because, um, just the, because of the people leaving. Like, yeah. okay, is everything okay? And then it was like, well, what are you doing now? Do yeah. You want a job. Right. Yeah. You know? And um, for me, I mean, you you rolled right into another career. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's funny because I think how like the timing worked out that people are like, oh, she probably like jumped ship. They stole her because I'm working for a company in the same industry. Um, but it just, um, it was kind of, that's when I think like I always go back to faith. Like, no, this was a hundred percent God thing. Yes. Because 100%. Of, because I couldn't have made it come up around me better. So I resigned, I believe on a Friday or a Saturday and I had a job interview on a Monday. Wow. Um, and it was, yeah. So I, it's, I'm pumped. I'm at a yeah, company that's, that's amazing. 25 minutes from my house, same industry. So I feel yeah, like I got a great. really great education in the last year Absolutely. in this industry. Learned Absolutely. so much, like super grateful for that. Like Absolutely. I always think that anything that is kind of, you know, challenging and people that are in our life are always there for a purpose. Some Absolutely. are just there for a season to teach us stuff. Yes. So I believe I was in that company to teach people things, maybe right. bring some things to light, help things. Um, um, you know, meet great people. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it says it so much about the both of you that when, you know, you decided to make the transition that was best for you and Ryan yeah. and your kids and, and everybody was checking on you. And then the offers were just pouring in. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> like I was yeah. like, God, it was, but that makes me as somebody who got to work with you guys feel really good that you were noticed, that your hard work was noticed, yeah. that your extra effort was noticed and yeah. that, you know, far beyond the sitting in the room, you never not answered my call, mm -hmm. mm -mm. you know, and that that never for both of you has ever gone unnoticed. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the thing, too, is like, um, you know, everything that went down after I left and things that were maybe said that weren't true about me and just different things that happened. I still have people reach out to like clients that were like, I was their point of contact and they just don't know I'm there or know that I'm not there. Yeah. And I still connect them in. I Absolutely. still send them over. Cause I'm like, you know what? There's some stuff just having good integrity Absolutely. and being a good person and getting people what they need because these right. people have nothing to do no. with anything. And you both so, realize that, you know, those clients have spent a ton of money. Mm -hmm. yes. it's, a, it's not a cheap thing to do. And, and your company's on the line and your reputation's on the yeah. line. Yeah. So I always think well, that it's always good on the back and just always. Like, absolutely. Well, I always say, you know, head up, shoulders back. Yep. Yeah. Right. And like mm -hmm. people might like my whole life, people have talked about me mm -hmm. like for different yeah. things or thrown shade. You know, when you're right. like being, you know, growing a business, being successful, people have a hard time with that. And they, they want to talk about you. They do. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, head up, shoulders back, do the right thing. Put, I and tell I my daughter, my adjust your yes. crown and remember whose child you are. Yes. Yep. I yep. told my husband, I was like, I am so sick of taking the high road. <laughs> because like I sometimes know. you will, you would want to be like, I know, them, I know, you know, like, I know. Oh, but then you're like, that's not the right thing to do. It's yeah, not right? the right thing. And no. there was a period of time where I called you and I'm like, yes. you know, this, this, anger kind of goes over you because you come into something with such amazing intentions. You work your ass off. You sacrifice your family. I didn't know anybody that worked harder than you guys. I'm going to be, listen, I am Thank a very you. damn hard worker and I work set, but I never saw anybody work like the two of you. And we love to work and we oh, love yeah. to work Well, hard. that's why we're like, we have to watch it because we can yeah. err on the side mm -hmm. of workaholics and people will take advantage of them. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then to to leave and hear what's being said about you and you're like God, like that you were fired <laughs> yeah. like, i'm like can i just I say it can i just say it? wait i'm gonna say it can i tell you what i heard <laughs> <laughs> cats out of the bag I love deb. Deb's so <laughs> shady i love it deb can say whatever deb wants deb's, deb's, it's, it's her podcast my podcast <laughs> and i <laughs> listen I, res hour. I respect every business owner and everybody out there doing it i mean uh, this yeah. is a hustle i i get it but yeah you know, my concern was, wow, I didn't just buy one person. I bought you mm -hmm. that could assist me. And it was, I'm going to be honest, it was very rattling to me. Mm -hmm. And um, 
which is okay. People switch, people pivot. We all do yeah. the best for our families. And I totally mm-hmm. get that. Yeah, you were very supportive. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I, mean, I, I adore you. So I was just, I really, and I was really worried about you. So, well, and there's a friendship here, right? Yeah, it's not absolutely. just a business transaction. Absolutely. Carrie, you know, he has such a great relationship yeah. builder, and you guys just have Send great friendship. Just not to be told the truth, mm-hmm. to be told that you wouldn't relocate to Nashville was really hurtful to me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest because I think the, at least you owe me the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. What's your thought on that? <laughs> well, I am such a Pollyanna, so I see the good in everyone and mm-hmm. tell. See, I'm, I'm a little more Britney. Don't. Yeah, she really is. <laughs> uh, you a really more are. Um, I'm like so, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> fucking call was, my house at dinner time and lie to me. <laughs> I was crying. No, it, I think for me it was very hurtful. I was going to say it was so hurtful. It was so because I had sacrificed so much after I made this packed with myself that I would not sacrifice my family. And so to, uh, in a little bit, I kind of owe a thank you because it's like, nope, now I'm back on the right path. Right. Thank you. You've, you've solidified my decision. Thank you. I owe you. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you've solidified my decision. I right. know I'm moving the right way. Yeah. Right. Let's move forward and take what we've learned. I appreciate what we've learned. I've appreciate the people we've met, but um, I did get lots of phone calls like I got from you. Yeah. Like, well, well, you I know bought, what I know you know, from yeah. both of you, you know, um, from working with you and then, you know, us all becoming friends, is that neither one of you bashed anybody. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You didn't bash you. anybody. Mm-hmm. There was no gossip train or circus no. train or I'm out to get Mm-mm. at no. all. I got blamed for a lot of things mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, please, like, what? At when, all, there when wasn't. did I say that? If like, anything, and, it was more... Deb, we want to support you. What can we do to help you keep growing? Yeah. That's what I was just going to say is we just wanted to help and move forward. Well, and I'm sorry, but this is how I think about life too. Like you, when you move on from something, it's so like any relationship, business, Mm -hmm. whatever, it's so easy because, you know, there's usually like when that break happens, you want to like make it wrong like that's right. the very human because it's like our right. ego wants or to be, be the right. victim right yes exactly. yes and so that's like our ego but then I think do if I am in this industry and then when I leave a company if I talk bad about it mm-hmm. that puts a bad taste and that shows like yes. something's wrong with my character mm-hmm. right Absolutely. like why would somebody ever want to work with me if they think I'm going to go talk bad about the company I Absolutely. came from mm-hmm. right. and then it's also like well you were there for a while why were you there for so long and you know it just yeah. like it makes me look bad right mm-hmm. so I'm like I'm not going to do that you know but then to get blamed for yeah. all these other people saying stuff I was like ah, oh, that didn't come from me yeah and I, you know? honestly you both of you handled it so incredibly well neither I didn't hear a bad thing And, you know, I know a lot of people in the program. I have a lot of friends. And I've had a lot of people on my show. And I've never heard one ounce of gossip at all. Yeah. Like none. Mm -hmm. If anything, I've heard, wow, we're going to, you know, we're going to miss them. They they did a great job. And I'm happy that you're still seeing them and that kind of stuff. I've never heard one bad Mm -hmm. thing from it yeah we've met some amazing people through that yeah (laughs) oh absolutely great people people. really great people i'm so thankful for that yes well when i started my new role you know with apex um business association in plano and let's talk about that (laughs) let's talk about Um, let's talk about apex what are you doing tell me about the company tell me your role tell me the transition what what's going on yeah you know it's always interesting and i just like i was like gosh starting over because you have to get (laughs) to know everybody and yes we had something so special at the last company because we had a very small team And we kind of like hand picked and me and my husband were very much in charge of like the operations and the roles and people's, you know, jobs and how we all rolled it out. You know how I knew Ryan is? Uh He's the go to guy for money. Like I felt like he was Oz, like he was behind the scenes and I never really met him because he wasn't. I mean, I I never, I I don't think I saw him one time. And I'm like, oh my God, we have to go to Oz. <laughs> like I want a heart. Oh my gosh, so funny! And um, Ryan felt. was so like I would always joke that Ryan had like the worst job because mm-hmm. he always had to deal with like the difficult situations. Right. It would be like, right, oh, right, give right. it to Ryan. But he was he's so good at detaching emotion yes. from like business. Well, when and I met Ryan, just, like, I was like, why am I scared of Ryan? <laughs> I know, and he's like he's the best <laughs> like, guy. I'm like I'm not scared of Ryan. I'm not scared of Ryan anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's his face. No, <laughs> <laughs> and I met him. I'm like, my God, he's such a nice man. He's but so he was warm. made out to be this yeah. like. Like you don't mess with them. Well, well that's the other I, thing is like he, if push comes to shove, you want Ryan on your side. Yeah, right. It's so true. Yeah. He, but, but he was. He's such a uh, such an expert at separating emotion from fact. Right. Yeah. And, and he didn't like it. If we like, all yeah. in a business industry weren't just that way, mm-hmm. 
Take, but it's, looking from the outside in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you need somebody like him always on your team because, and he loves people. He's very social. He's warm. Mm-hmm. He's a great man. Yeah, he's right? a wonderful man. He's wonderful. He's loving. He's great. But when it comes to business, he um, his personality type, actually, like his behavior style is all transaction. Right. And so that's why he's like great for a job like that because right. he's just wired. You have the ability to turn it on and turn it off. And also like if somebody, because, you know, in that industry, we attract some freaking kooky people oh. um, to be like, <laughs> no, we're not, I think everybody there oh my was gosh. relatively sane. <laughs> well, there's a few. There was at one time when he goes, block that number. And I'm like, I can do that. Right. Yeah. It was this crazy <laughs> man. And he's like, don't talk to him anymore. Right. Like Ryan's just like, no, because he's right. like, we're not doing that. Yeah, we don't invite mm-hmm. nonsense in. Yeah. yeah, like no, you're not allowed to act like that or treat our people like that. No. Like I would go, oh, I wonder what he's feeling to do that. <laughs> I know. And Ryan's like, he's feeling him. like he has a job to do. That's what it is. He's not, you know, he's not <laughs> sure. So tell me about Apex. What's going on? Tell me what's yeah. great. Tell me what's fabulous. Tell me why Apex. Yeah. So you know what? It's so funny. I um, so Ryan Stuman and Amy Stuman are the yes. owners of that company, and and they're like beautiful rock stars. Oh, just they're so great. Like, no, so I mean just abundant. seeing them on social media. Oh, I love. Yeah. That. I yes, that was a huge thing. As I was like, they if are. We're warm, winning every. Everybody's abundant. winning. I love Yeah, that. and they're like, you know what? We want to, like, we love our team. They're kind of in the process of a little bit of a rebuild right now. It's so funny. So the reason why I even knew about that company was because Sean Pollard, who used to work for Andy Elliott, he uh-huh. helped um, Andy Elliott. He was there in the beginning with him. It was those two building that company. Okay. So I met him when we did an event together in wow. last September. Wow. We just kind of knew each other because we were, you know, it was a partner event. So I was dealing with Sean. You know, we were like the people with the money and all that stuff, figuring everything out. And so I knew he went to Apex, I believe, in December. And I was like, oh, that's just down the road from us. How interesting. Like, right. And I didn't really know um, mm. a whole lot of Ryan Stewart, you know, very alpha male. Um, he used to be known as like old yeller because he would just like yell at people and his <laughs> rough boys. Like, yes. So those were like very much like a partner thing, which right. I was like, I don't know about that. Right. More into mindset and energy, you know. Right. Um, and I'll just have to slice you long before I scream at you like right I'm not even getting that far yeah oh my god <laughs> I'm so, not gonna waste that energy yeah <laughs> and so I was just kind of always curious like I wonder what that what's going on and you know when you're in a company and you see that things are starting to maybe like go eh, or you feel like you're losing yourself plus you know all the competitors in this company oh yeah it's oh yeah you start to see the direct competition yeah and I we did a lot of partnership um events and things with a lot of people so I Absolutely. got to know a lot of people and they're they're like you know, number twos in those companies right. because it's like we're all working together. Right, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I knew Sean and we went out for a training, Carrie and I did. I was like, hey, let's go to the sales training. It sounds really cool. It's at Apex. Let's check it out. Um, I'll say hi to Sean. And he was like, how's everything going? I was like, oh, he's like, what are you doing? I go, are you guys like rebuilding, rebuilding out here? Like, what are you doing? Right. Are you hiring? What are you, what's the company right. up to? What's, I don't even know what this company's about. And then I heard Ryan Stuman, um teach wow. and Carrie and I were sitting there. I was like, whoa, this shit is good. Wow. Like I was like, this is excellent, like business fundamentals. It seems so simple. I've never heard it, you know, said this way, explained this way. And I've been to a lot of business conferences. Yeah, you've, and, you've said there oh my a lot gosh, of that. A lot. Yeah. And even before, you know, in the network marketing industry, like learn all these things. And I was like, this shit is gold. Like wow. this is so good. So um, yeah, there was an opportunity to come and they needed operations. And they were like, well, does your husband want to come too? I was like, well, you can meet him. But right. yeah, I think he does. I don't want to speak for him, but I'm sure he would that love to. That is like, holy smokes. That's so yeah. ideal for the both of you. Yes. And they like made us an offer and I was like, all right. Yeah. Like, how's it going? It's going well. Yeah. You, so I think gosh, I mean, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I feel lighter. Um, I think the first couple of weeks I was like, I don't feel like anxiety anymore. Wow. Like every time I phone, I don't feel like I have to be tied to my phone or like, yeah. you know, yeah. like checking in all the time. Right. And um, so that was really great as I feel like I had my autonomy back of like, oh, I am a high level person. I don't need to be micromanaged. This is cool. Right. You know, I don't think people yeah. understand that, that you can be a high level person and not work seven days a week. Mm-hmm. And like, I'll get I my think shit a done. good leader yeah. doesn't have their hands in every single thing. No. And I think it's really when you have people that are driven like Brittany and I and have built this these network marketing companies, yeah. you don't need to be micromanaged. No. no. Like, here's your task, no. go do it. And it's like, like okay, this we'll is your it. role. This is your job. Yeah. These are the results we're trying That's to it. create. Right. I don't care if you want to work at 6 a.m., 7 p.m., right. weekend. Exactly. Just as long as done. you get the job done, just it get doesn't it done. really matter. Yeah. So how's Ryan loving the job? Good. He's really liking it. Good. Yeah. It's Good. um it's fun because we still work together because we work together really well as a team, but we have our different um, kind of genius zones, you know, things we're good at. I'm good at like front end operations and he's really good at back end operations. So, um, you know, but it's always just a little bit of a dance learning a new team. Sure. What I was saying is like Coach Burt's team, 
It's okay. Yeah, at that we all. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, ah, I didn't mean to say it, but it, there we had a smaller team, but this there we have a little bit bigger team, and there's a lot of alphas. Yeah, and so that's interesting because there's a lot of people who are in charge, right? Or like have a very dominant personality, and then when you do too. I don't come in though as like guns a blazing. I really come in kind of, which is surprising probably to most people. I sit back and I observe yeah. and I see who's in charge. How do they communicate? Where are the holes? And um, when and I'm, I'm in ready rooms to to like that, I just soak it in because I'm yeah. like, there's a lot to be learned in this room. Yeah, there's a lot. Carrie happening. will tell you, I'll sit in the middle of a table at dinner, will I not? And yep. talk to everybody mm -hmm. on both sides. Of me. Yeah. Like that's there's so much to be learned. So much. Yeah. I've left like things like whoa. Like mm -hmm. I need to dump my brain into a cup and yeah. So and I think so sometimes much. People go into these things and they're like, we have to talk about me. I've talked about me and it's and not tell everybody that. how great I am. Yeah. 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 It, but if you set that ego aside, there's absolutely so many cool people. Yeah. And so much that can be learned. When so many. I have learned lesson. just from the best, mm -hmm. you know, and the connections. Mm -hmm. So Carrie. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> yeah. Carrie, Tell us about your life. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need the double tequilas now, Matthew. <laughs> Let's get, get off those cowboy socks um, and hightail to a liquor store. Well, uh, gosh, I, I want to say it was shortly after I left our previous position. Um, well, maybe coincide. I don't know. I can't remember the timeline. I've been off for a month. Right, I know. <laughs> I with a boot <laughs> and a great tan, by the way. I'm like, why do they look so good, both of them? This is it's, it's because we spend all our time at soccer fields. And baseball right, fields. exactly. A yeah. <laughs> lot of sun exposure. A on lot of sun of exposure. A lot of sunscreen. Um, but I accepted a position here with Dan Schindler. Wow. And um, today was actually my first day. It's awesome. So super excited to be here. And I'm kind of learning the ropes right now, like just really soaking in how their systems work, what they're doing, yeah. learning the janitorial service industry, yeah. which I've never been in. I've been in sales. Isn't life so funny? I know. It's so like, ironic. It's so, so crazy. It's so ironic. But I've been in um, sales for over 20 years, just yeah. different industries. So this is my first time in this industry. And wow. I remember... Um, I got to spend a lot of time with Dan about, what, six months ago in mm -hmm. Vegas, right? Yeah. We were at an event there Dan together. Dan is a, a wonderful, wonderful man. Wonderful, wonderful person. And I remember something in me said, you know, I need to get to know him better. And so we spent a lot of time visiting and talking. And I was like, yeah. he's really cool. I really love how um, he's just honest and full of integrity and really didn't know much about what he did. Well, in yeah. so uh, many rooms that I, it's what's so interesting to me is when you look back, you're like, that's the most successful guy in the room. Mm -hmm. And he's and the he's most right. humble. So humble. I'm, I'm telling you, you know, I've interviewed a lot of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Dan blows me away mm -hmm. with his humbleness and his kindness and his ability to just give back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yes. think he's just one he's of the... He's so gracious. He's so, so gracious. Yeah. He's one of the nicest men I've ever met. And so I'm super mm -hmm. happy that you landed here. I'm so excited to be landing. And I kind of pinched myself, too, because it's um, like this first day here. We've just wrapped it up. People were in the hallways laughing, joking. Um, they have beanbag chairs. I, they have beanbag chairs. Yeah. For I God's know. sake. I know. Matthew we're... knows I'm getting a corner office right there. Dan's like, you, Deb can have that little corner. <laughs> <laughs> but it just feels the energy. I remember walking around earlier today with Chris and Dan, and I'm like, this energy feels so good here. Both wonderful men. Yes, amazing, amazing people. Mm -hmm. So I just feel blessed. And um, we got to ride in the Cybertruck today. Yes, which, yes. Um, I didn't get to ride in the suburbs, but he, he my like, son is pissed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got you know like you know what it took me to get here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I just you know, I lost my mind. <laughs> See, About you're good though. It. I would have been like I'd have been walking around with like a bottle of Chardonnay in each pocket. <laughs> I don't think only I pink starburst. Oh my god. Pink Mine was MMs. That's why we're, we're talking about our health. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna speak for you, but I gained quite a bit of weight. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with it. Well that, stop it. I see you both like all the time <laughs> going go. to the gym. I see like four Brittany's going to the gym at like four thirty. Now I'm up at like nine. So she's already like had a full damn day. I'm like, I'm, I'm a slacker. Deb, get your ass up, you slacker. <laughs> I remember after, like, I've been in this, like, broke my foot, been in the boot for almost I know. weeks now. I swear I, that feels like it was uh, two years ago. Well, when I went back for my orthopedic check, they go, what did you do to this boot? 
Oh, uh, no. Well, no, right. First, they asked me how long I'd had it. <laughs> and I'm like, like two, three weeks. And they're like, they usually last longer than that. It's not I'm meant like, to go off-roading. I know. <laughs> they're <laughs> like, lady, you I, need to rest. There's like a couple of gla- grass stuck in the Velcro. And I'm oh like, gosh. look, I got to chase my kids. But you called me from the emergency room and said that. And I'm like, why are why are what <laughs> i know why we aren't you i seeing an elevating did we have an appointment i don't even remember no i don't know <laughs> Harry's i think like, i reached listen. out to you like i'm just i have to just i got her i'm just give me like an hour i'm like are you nuts <laughs> i'll be fine right oh she's like gosh. and then she's in the house and so i'm like how's the pain she's I, like oh no it's really throbbing i'm like are you icing and el- like I feel like I need to go I, to Florida like and take, take a, a day bag off. of bodies. So you did that. <laughs> right. So I remember I know, right? it happened, and Jason got me back up and was icing it, and I had a call with our boss and the new sales manager they brought in, mm. and I mean I was like in extreme, oh my God. extreme pain. I, I can't so even imagine. I would mute out and listen and like scream. Oh. And then when they'd ask me questions, I'd go off mute. Wait, is it so freaking crazy though, the mindset behind that? Like, can we just pause for a minute, Carrie? <laughs> that she's like, I have to be on this Zoom. Right. It was like, all that we're good. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. The it's only thing you crazy. have to do is rescue your children. I <laughs> like, know. that's it. I know. And I was talking to one of our coworkers later and I was like, I'm on the way to the ER. I broke my foot. And she's like, um, when did you do that? And I was like, oh, right before our call. And she goes, I wouldn't have never known. Right. That's not a bragging point. No, it's that's how just, professional you are. Well, it was And just, how dedicated you were to yeah, the job. Yeah, it was just like out of necessity. That's what I felt like I had to do before we could go to urgent care. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Take care of this. Freaking right. crazy. <laughs> Getting that emojis, so like crazy. thumbs up emojis and shit. Like, that's yeah. crazy. I what? praise the Lord it was a 10-minute call. When we were that, <laughs> right. So. right. Gosh. <laughs> Carrie, what was the greatest thing you learned? from that job Mm -hmm. and what's the greatest thing that you took away that you know is going to stick with you in your next career and throughout your life oh my gosh there was so much um I think one of the biggest things that I took away and I think this is a lesson God's been trying to teach me for a while is set those boundaries set the boundaries set the boundaries because I can be such a people pleaser that I'm like girlfriend I can do empty in your cup to fill some I'm a recovered Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I told Dan that last week that I'm a recovered Mm -hmm. people pleaser because Mm -hmm. I would Trying to fill a void, so I would mm-hmm. don't. And then mm-hmm. who's, you're the one at the end that doesn't have anything. And, and people will take more than you'll give. I feel. Yeah. Yes. I think I, f- I feel like I have three. Can I give three? Yeah. Okay, you said a couple. So we can order is- dinner. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the second is don't let anyone determine your worth. Absolutely. Or tell you you're not good enough or right. you're not doing well enough or you need to work harder or right. – because uh, I remember toward the end I did a sales call and I was like, I nailed that because I went back to who I knew who I was, who I've had 20 years of experience yes. doing and just went back to being me. Mm. And yeah. I thought that's where the power is at. It's just – and trusting my gut and knowing that I can do – these things yeah. and I am a pro and an expert at nobody it. can do everything when they're on fire no it's just not no. possible and the third is like what the one thing that I really loved and I pray and hope that it continues within my life is creating those relationships mm-hmm. and meeting those people and yeah. just knowing that your next experience is going to expose you to some really awesome yes. people too and just keeping that um that ball rolling yes because there are some really really cool people in this world and, oh there's um, I'm like you I love mm-hmm. people like, give me a seat in the back of the plane with a couple strangers. Oh, that's like fuck. my... Oh, that's not me. That's oh. <laughs> like, that's you my nightmare. That, that's I've, been to, I've been to two weddings of strangers that I met on planes. Oh, wow. wow. People yeah. are like, what is wrong? I'm like, why do you have three carry-ons and a neck pillow? Right. Stop it. <laughs> I'm like, I just need Stop my... it. On a plane, I'm like, I just want my Bose headphones out in my movie and do not look at my screen. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Right. There's numbers on there me. that nobody wants to see. Right, what's the, what is the biggest thing you took away from all this you know I'm gonna give a positive because there was so many you know it's like when things come to an end like I said you want to go like it's usually because something's not working out right and then we talk about that but I do think that um, one of the biggest gifts that I received from my time there was kind of an undoing of um, some of the behaviors that I was coached into or things that have been said to me my whole life. Like, mm-hmm. cause I've always been a very bold person. I've always been very honest, just blurt things out, you know? And so I realized that I've had to learn tact, but in some of the um, coaching and mentoring that I've had, you know, in different businesses and things have been like, oh, you can't say it like that. You're gonna hurt people's feelings. You're, you can't lead like that. So it's like, yeah. don't be you, right? Like don't right. be authentic right. to you. And then in this last business, um, he was actually very wonderful at being like, 
be you. Mm-hmm. Like you. be aggressive. Get in there. Say what you want to say. You're never going to get in trouble for taking initiative. And I was like, oh, because in other things I had become very permission based. And like, is that okay? Because I had yes. gotten my hand slapped. Right. You know, and it's like, that's the worst thing. It is thing. The totally the worst. And yes. so I actually am very thankful for that. Mm-hmm. Good. You know? Yeah. So it was like, okay, like, I I am pretty like you're badass. a badass. Like, you're a total okay. badass. I instead of I like, them, like don't oh. be such a badass. You need to be nice. Yes. Be this. It was like it was okay to be myself. You yeah. can you grew into that. Be a yeah. humble really badass. Really yeah. I mean for yeah. sure. Well, you and can. it's okay to speak up and go no. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I probably yeah, like I mean, I would say out of the team, I fought more than anybody. Not with the team, but like for the team in a for lot of team. ways, and yes. like for what I believed in. Like True I was team player. Yeah, I'd get in there, and I was like, I'm, t- I'm tough. I'll deal with this. Yeah, like, she, really, she really was. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'll deal with it. I got you. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely more Brittany than Carrie. I'm like, cool. What do you need me to do? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you go make nice, nice. And then I'd call Carrie to be like, okay, this is what it happened. Like this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And she's like, okay. You know, yeah. yeah, like always like that person mm-hmm. to go to and talk to. So it was cool to go to that together. And we were just talking. Yeah, it was weekend. cool that you guys are friends and went through this yeah. experience together. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking this weekend that this is the first time in six or eight years that we've been on different teams, really. Yeah. Like work teams. Yeah. Um, and it's it, it's going to be another interesting, great adventure, really. I know. We always like joke that we should do like our own side hustle together. Yeah. Like we should coach Maybe we should together. all just work for Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do you need me to mop I a floor? I, I'll do it. I, I figured <laughs> this out. Every time I'm, I'm here, I'm treated like a rock star. I mean, I yeah. leave. But they're like, it was an honor to have you. I'm like, I'm like I'm just going to work for Dan. Maybe I'm right? doing the wrong job. I mean, I actually <laughs> feel energized tonight. That's so great. I think that's a really great oh, indication. Yeah. Yes. Um, I know. I know. We both work for Dallas-based companies. That counts. Isn't that funny? Yeah. In the great state of Texas. Yeah. yeah. I'm still getting her to try it. I'm trying so, to get her to move here. So my yeah. family's it's a great down place. this weekend, and I'm like, hey, right, um, show Jason around. Show him some of those <laughs> soccer fields. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. It is a wonderful place to live, mm-hmm. though. We do yeah. love Florida. Yeah. Though. Oh, I know. You've made the most mm-hmm. in Florida. Mm-hmm. I definitely have. All right. I want everyone to get your energy. How can they follow you on social media? Oh, do you know your Oh, handle? yes, I know mine because it's branded, right, Carrie? <laughs> the Brittany um, Hall. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's at the Brittany Hall. B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y. <laughs> yeah. And mine's Carrie E. Robison. K-A-R-I-E-R-O-B-I-S-O-N. There's no double N in that. It's not Rob Benson. It's not Rob Benson. You know what? <laughs> Quick story. This has I, been a point of contention since I've met you. With, it like, really <laughs> is. I always said I was like, from the time I was a third grader, I'm like, I'm going to marry a guy with a simple last name. Right. So I didn't date people with complicated right. last names. Now look what you got. Right. It I know. It's simpler than mine. My oh. name, but whatever. Yeah. You know, we're so close. So I close. know. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think Instagram. the energy that you guys give to each other, to the room, to everybody is just incredible i love spending time with both Mm -hmm. of you and i want to thank you both for always taking care of me Mm -hmm. and one last thing as this journey is just going and going and going you're going to come back Mm -hmm. oh yeah Mm -hmm. all good right we're only going up from here yeah we cannot wait i want ryan to come in like the next time oh bring ryan in here oh he'd love it i think we're coming back here to do a podcast on the night do you know what you need to get is is (laughs) Let, let me just schedule, a leash. Let me a just muzzle. schedule your podcast for you. <laughs> Britt and Rye and Jason and I. I would because love to. That could get. Oh man. Mm. I would love to. I would love be honored to have the four of you together. <laughs> yeah. I would love to have the four of you together. Why I I you? tell you when I see like you know because I know you both personally too, but when I see like the family and the connections, it makes my heart happy mm. that the two of you have thrived and survived and grown and you're doing it with these yeah. kids and with these husbands. I think it's incredible. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. And you didn't, you're still my go-to girl. <laughs> you know, like I can still <laughs> yeah. call either one of you with yeah. any mm-hmm. situation. What's it going to look like in five years from now, ladies? Mm. World domination. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it's funny because at Apex, they have this awesome course called Build Your Machine. Uh-huh. And I think I that that's, that. yeah, I do too. And what I love about this company is because I've never seen any company where I'm like, oh, yeah, I could like be there for a while. I'm always like, this is good now. And like, let's see where it leads yeah, to. Because yeah, yeah. um, I'm always like, one thing's always leading to the next thing and it's seasons and things. But what I love is um, the owner of the company actually said, I have 
big i have to have big enough dreams so that you can all build your dream here wow. like in this company and so they're not threatened that by is people. really just it's, incredible because yes. that's a little bit of a cutthroat industry there yeah and it's really you know there's um i can't remember the book some you know the laws of power whatever the number is but it's like don't outshine the master right, right. and so that's what's hard is like I am a natural leader. Yeah. I have, you know, an influential personality. I want to build my own brand, but it's like I have found a company where I can do that within. And that's a gift. Yeah. Because absolutely. a lot of entrepreneurs are like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa." I mean, we even saw it in network marketing. No, 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 no. Don't like don't grow me. that big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't be that shiny, yeah, you know. Right. So, that's a real gift. So, I think, you know, in 5 years I would actually love um to see myself with a podcast. I'd love mm -hmm. to speak. I'd love to help people. I think people, you'd be a kick-ass speaker and oh, podcast host. Yeah. No, so, you totally would. It would be like no You would. Spark. Yeah. And oh, do yeah. it like me where you can bring on alcohol and nobody judges <laughs> yeah. name. It's right you know what's funny? I don't, even really, I don't even really drink that much. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guess yeah. what? If you sit behind this mic long enough, you'll have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, oh my, well, maybe we should do that because I am pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you are very funny. <laughs> It's been kind of an interesting path, really, because Brittany and I, we were it built our separate network marketing businesses. Um, and then we had this dream separately to do these coaching businesses. Yeah. Right. Our own personal, our coaching own businesses. personal coaching business. Mm -hmm. So Britt and Ryan had theirs. Jason and I had ours. And it's kind of led us down this path. And I think for a while there, like I even remember I, I shut down my website in the last six or eight months. because mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't have the energy for this. I don't have the energy. I don't have mm. the bandwidth. Yeah. Um, That's hard when you feel drained like that. Yeah. But I think it's hard it to was, motivate yourself every day. And I didn't know in my mind, it was like, I don't know if this is my dream anymore. Right. Like that's yeah. where it was more going in my mind. I'm like, I don't even know if this is what I want to do anymore. Um, but for right now, it's not. And that's OK. Yeah, right. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, but my husband does have a massive dream for that. Right. So and five so, years. Where so are five you? years. I can see in I, the great state of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Jason? Robinson? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think you can do it both. I live mm -hmm. in two places. You do live in two places. Maybe after the kids graduate. Yes. I, don't know. I mean, I do. it. Um, they make planes going everywhere. They do. Oh, my gosh. Um <laughs> But five years, I, I mean, I can see doing some stuff like Brittany, and we've even talked about it, like, okay, what's next? Because we're, I'm not one to sit still. Right, like, me neither. I am, I am going to love what I'm doing here. Yes. I'm going to be love, build with, get on board with building what they're building, all those things. But there will probably be something in the background that I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, too. absolutely. Yeah. I don't think I know two better, better women to to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah. from the bottom of my heart so much. The both yeah. of you have been just an inspiration to me and have helped me come along my path in this company. And I can't wait to see what works, what's yeah. going on and how we're going. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been my honor. <laughs>